who's drop that is a semi big deal, I guess. I think this is a good good decision. The NFL Pro Bowl has moved from Orlando to Las Vegas for January 31st, 2021. And I am stoked about it. Uh, I think this is a fascinating idea that that they should have done years ago. Uh, truth of the matter, I think when they well, we moved, didn't have a facility to really do it years ago. It, agreed. And now they've got Allegiant Stadium. But, I mean, they could have... The, there's They're not going to do it at the Rebel Stadium. They're not going to go to UNLV's shitty stadium. Uh, you're right. You're right. Thing. Well, I mean, it holds like 30,000 people. Come on, dude. Yeah, but there's less than 30,000 that. that go there. Like, that's I, this is more so for the players, right? So, I. No, it's not. No. no all, I think that's why they moved it to the Vegas. All the Pro Bowl is is a fan event. That's all it is. All week long, you do this and you meet and greet fans. And then you do this and you meet and greet fans. You do this and you meet and greet fans. It's all it is a fan event. So my, so while I'm excited about this because I love Vegas, there's a little bit of me that if you're a player in the NFL, going to Vegas no big deal. You got the means and the ability to go to Vegas all the time. Doing it here is fine. I think it's okay, but at some point I'm like going to Hawaii is an event. Hawaii is a different kind of thing. And then the other thing is Vegas, like. They'll say they're family friendly, man. Vegas is not a place for children. All no, right. No, you no, one no. of these people and you bring your kids to Vegas. I hate you. <laughs> and I talk a lot of shit about you. And I probably walk by your stroller cursing and swearing really loud. I, yeah, um, I believe it. Because I'm annoyed by that. And I think you're taking some of the family out of it. Now, I love it. Being the degenerate always looking for an excuse to try to go to Vegas. No problem. I do not have the means unless some business is going to send me to Hawaii to go to Hawaii and watch this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I I looked at this as this is a, a good reason for the players to actually go because it, it, it's a lot easier for players to go to Orlando. Like, I understand that players can go wherever they want to pretty much all the time. Yeah. But if if Hawaii was not working out for whatever reason, uh, you couldn't get the fans there. You couldn't get da 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 da. Orlando is cheaper, easier. Or, whatever. Orlando, I thought was the best situation because so much of it is so family friendly. Yes. Um, however, like I look at this, and it, a lot of the players that are going may not have kids, may not be interested in taking their kids, all that kind of stuff. I'm not, they, I'm not they worried just about the players bringing their kids. I'm worried about the fans. Agreed. But I, I think that if you're looking at it from a player's perspective, you can get more players because think about how many guys sit out the Pro yeah, Bowl. Yeah, you're right. No, 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 you're right. So if you got that many guys sitting out the Pro Bowl, take it to Vegas, let them have themselves a good time, a good weekend, a good week, yeah. whatever. You can get fans over there pretty easy. Che- you know, flights are pretty cheap to get in. Uh, I mean, I like it. I think it's a good idea. I'm okay with so, it. I see. I see how it could end up. So, <laughs> I am I am a unique person. Everybody doesn't have to feel the way I feel, and everybody doesn't think the way I think. I, while I love going to these things, I'm going to be the last person to get in line to get an autograph or a picture. Agreed. I, I just feel very uncomfortable being a 37-year-old man, like, going up to another 24-year-old man. And saying, hey, can I take your picture? Will you sign this for me? I just feel weird. <laughs> and if I have a kid, then I'm absolutely being like, hey, go get Patrick Mahomes' autograph. This is really cool. That's different. But if there are no children around and it's just a bunch of dudes that are like me all standing in this line, I feel like that line is substantially creepier. Yeah. Like that is a party I don't really want to go to. It's a club with nothing but dudes. And there are no chicks there. That's that's all I think of when I think of what's going to be at these events now if they're in Vegas. And I think I really want to go see these things, but man, I think the crowd is going to be, be a weird. little weird. It might be. It might be. I don't know. I think or it is going to be people who are going to just bring their kids anyway, and then that's just going to piss me off when they leave the event. 
and they're pushing their stroller through the casino. I will say while I'm this: swearing at the craps table. The, Vegas is big enough at this point, and and there are a lot of things that are family friendly about Vegas. I've got friends that have taken their kids out there and whatnot, and they there are plenty of things that you can do for the kids. Um, I don't want you to do those things because <laughs> I want to do those things, and I don't want your kid there. Yeah, no, I, I can understand that. Uh, Brown Yeti said Beck's loser playing in the background. And he said, uh, going back to the other topic, he said, 600% is hard to make. I think there should be a line. It should be, uh, who do you think should make it off the top of your head? And eventually you'll get all the people who are no doubters. Yeah, I I just don't like putting a hard rule on stuff. I mean, baseball used to have unspoken rules. It was like 300 wins would get you in. And then you'd have like every Joe Blow in the world getting the 300 wins, like, well, that's no longer a criteria. And 500 home runs will get you in. And it was a shoe-in kind of thing. And then they had to reevaluate. And those weren't even hard written down rules. Those are just rules that every writer kind of had in their head. And you can at least change those. This is a hard rule that's a guideline. Yeah, That's like part of the bylaws. That's a pro- I have a problem with that. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah. I, I agree with you. I agree. All right, so let's uh, let's dive off of the Pro Bowl, and let's bring up Kyle Shanahan. 